it comes down to the nature of the rules in the game and if you see a wedge or a way to split the game open into multiple possibilities. Some games lend themselves to that, other games don't. If a game has a lot of rules that are pretty limiting, then it's more likely that you'll be able to. Or if you see the same fe variable featured in multiple rules, then that's a really influential variable. And that suggests that that variable, the placement of that variable may be the wedge. So maybe A on two versus A on four. You, if those could be the only two possibilities, and then you lay out both, both of those and see what the consequences are. Also, if you have a block of variables, that takes up a lot of space and must be in a particular order. So if you have two variables that, that must be consecutive in a certain order out of five slots, you could do that block on one and two, two and three, three and four, or four and five four different main possibilities. And that's obviously a pretty simple layout, but if it were, you could easily make this seven slots, but then other rules limit the placement of that block such that it couldn't go on six and seven. Mm -hmm. So it may not be immediately obvious, but the way the rules combined could lend themselves to that. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.